What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. Welcome back to Gran Turismo Sport. So yeah, it's been a while since I raced any Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, not because I have anything against it, but I just have been lost in the PC world of Sim Racing lately. But uh, having some technical difficulties with my AccuForce wheel, aka it's not working at all since the update. So, rather than beat my head against the wall any further or throw the AccuForce wheel across into uh, one of my subscribers' homes in Australia, I would rather just step away from it, take some deep breaths, do some Gran Turismo Sport racing, and uh, so that's what I'm doing. And the Nissan Motul Altec GTR 2016 is what I will be driving. It's a Group 2 car, one of the new cars uh, after update 1.15, and it is phenomenal. It is a really, really great car. It's the car I've been waiting for to come to Gran Turismo Sport. And it's here, and it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're here at Majeure. We're going to do 10 laps, multi-class. We have Group 3 cars as well, and uh, some Vision Gran Turismo concept, whatever you want to call them, cars as well mixed in. So it should be an exciting race. 200,000 credits at stake. Well, let's do this. So again, starting from 16th. Let's go. So we're going to run into the uh, Group 3 cars. For those not familiar, their Group 3 is effectively GT3. Rather than pay the uh, copyright, I guess, Sony opted to create new car classes, which I'm fine with. Gonna move into 15th on the outside there. Can't see that beetle. Need my VR. There we go. Chasing down what looks to be Aston Martin. Again, no competition. And coming up on that beautiful orange McLaren there. Chopping through the group threes. Group twos are gonna be a lot harder. We're still 40 seconds back off the lead here. Tell what those upcoming cars are. But they would appear to be Group 3. Nice BMW and a Lexus, actually. A BMW is a really great car. If you haven't tried it yet in GT Sport. So I believe this upcoming car may be. The last of the Group 3's, that's the Honda NSX. And I need to watch where I'm going here. So excited to look at that NSX in my rear view that I totally forgot where I was. And a further 8 seconds to the car ahead, so I would say I finished the uh, lower class. And moving into the Group 2's and Vision GT's. Or concepts, or whatever you want to call them. To equip any to equip soft tires for this race, so got to take it first gear around that last corner. And second gear around this. Whoops, and I still pushed it too hard. Got a little bit of understeer there. Under 30 seconds to the lead now. What I've been finding with uh, with these races, because I've been driving this race a few times now, and uh, getting past that final 10 seconds to take the lead is by far the toughest. I think you start out about 50, 50 seconds off the lead, then you chop that down pretty quick, but then the last 10 seconds, it's pretty miserable. You gotta really pick your spots to pass, so. But I've been very happy with the AI, actually. There's another Lexus. Whoa. 
Just about got a trunk full of Nissan there. Try them on the inside here. Three seconds to the car ahead, chasing down seventh position. Finishing up lap number two of ten. Looks like a GTR ahead of us. Probably the same thing I'm in. We'll let him have that. Whoa. Still clean, still clean. Still got my 50% bonus, I believe. I believe. Get a little pull from him there. Take sixth position. Yeah, as I say, I've been having technical issues with my PC and I uh, just kind of decided that it was best that I go to uh, console, take a little break. Whoa! But uh, yeah, I've been so happy. I've had so much fun driving Gran Turismo since uh, 1.15 update. This is going to be awkward. I'll give him his space. Try and get a good launch here. Easily passed him. I am rocking a T300 wheel if it matters. Thankfully, I saved it when I bought my AccuForce. Not a great corner exit there, but. Fifth position, and about seven laps to go, six and a half laps to go. And again, was able to chop the lead down to 11 seconds, but those last 11 seconds are going to be difficult. This is going to be a very tricky corner. Managed to hold on. And now I'm chasing my twin. Oh! Can't wait to see the replay on that. Back in, starting to dance. Held on to it. Such a phenomenal car. This is, by some margin, my favorite car in Gran Turismo now. There's two cars to go to take the lead. And just past the halfway mark. But again, I expect a fight for those last six seconds. Especially if I keep driving like that. I'm not sure what happened there. My mind was thinking about my anger towards the AccuForce, perhaps. I'll get it back. It was just a failed update. Hardware itself, I believe, is fine. Makes me mad because I also lost. I have completely taken my VR out of the equation now. 
I cannot get it to work for the life of me. Ever since that update, I can get it working on occasion, and it's something to do with Steam VR and Oculus not seeing eye to eye. Anyway, it's coiled up, it's beside me right now, I don't get to use my Oculus, and I'm really angry about that. One day I'll figure it out. For now, I'm just enjoying driving. It's like another Honda concept here that we're chasing. Ooh, and then he hit the brakes at a time where I did not expect. And threw me off my racing line and my braking point and made my life miserable. One position to go. May get a shot at him on lap six, I don't know. Come on, buddy. Come on. Make a mistake. Oh, actually, that was me that made the mistake. We're going to hit some back markers very, very soon. I've done this race a few times, usually around lap six or seven. We finally run into traffic. fast. There's a noticeable speed difference from the uh, group 3 to group 2 cars and all for the good. I find uh, GT3 cars, for the most part, there's definitely exceptions to this, but uh, in, in most sims can feel predictable at times. And uh, Gran Turismo Sport, in my opinion, was no exception to that rule. But the Group 2 does not feel predictable. A bit of a fight at times. But just crazy fast and crazy fun to drive. But I need to tune that understeer out. I believe at this race there's a regulation of sport soft tires are allowed. Oh no, did I just lose my 50%? Uh, actually, sorry, racing softs are allowed. But, uh, completely forgot to adjust my tune before I started this video. So, making things hard on myself. Ba -ba. Good one, Mike. Good pun. Oh, got a shot. Nope. Close the door. And the first back marker. Under a minute there through the first section. here. I will not. So I should be able to make up some ground. And it's going to get ugly with that Peugeot. the Aston Martin was going to cut him off and I'd be able to overtake him on this straight. St 
Oop, it's stupid cornering there. Still under a second, but he did uh, make up some ground on me. Or gain some ground, I should say. With that traffic. Told you guys. First, like 15 positions are gifts. And then this. them under traffic there. This beautiful Renault, one of my favorite cars in the game. But I cannot play favorites. Alright, not gonna lie, I probably won't be caught. Short of driver error, you are welcome to skip ahead. I'm gonna put the uh, replay in at the end of this race. For those who wish to stay and watch the end of the journey, watch me pass some back markers. Could be some drama, you never know. Not to mention human error, I may give the lead back. Who knows? Up about a second and a half. Overcooked that turn badly. Once again, we passed very, very early in the race. Controversially, one of the best Group 3 cars in the game. I say controversially because I did a video about that fact. And uh, it's my most hated video ever. Three digit dislikes for that video. But I get it. It was a clickbaity title. I tried to make it as sciencey as possible, but obviously I failed. Alright, last lap here. Let's see if we can turn our best lap. Trail break in there. Hard down into first. Try and get a good launch here and did not. Be a little bit more aggressive through this left hander. Should be somewhere around the one minute mark. We'll get our first split. Oh no, never mind. So up a half second, that's good. And we're gonna push through this uh, windy section here. Yes, nice, up 0.8 seconds, almost 0.9 actually. on the accelerator there, but not much. Oh, 
wide open in front of me, so really no excuse as to why I wouldn't set a personal best time. Get it down into the 150s. Then screw up there, not too bad. Barely. Yep, we did it. Alright guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.